Welcome back to another video. I want to talk today about changing your mindset. I have 12 tips and tricks to help you get to where you want to go. If you have a goal in mind, use these and it will get you there. Let's check out the video. My name is Arel Akalaitis and I'm empowering wellness through nutrition, fitness and mental and emotional health. Today I want to talk to you about changing your mindset so that you can attain your goals. I have 12 tips and tricks that I've personally used to quit smoking, to lose 70 pounds, to exercise more, to graduate from my degrees and diplomas. Anyway, I'm going to share it all with you. Not that they're 100% new, but maybe in the way that I describe them will resonate with you. Anyway, without further ado, here they are. Tip number one, decide it's time for a change and don't give up. So it's not like um, a resolution at New Year's where you make a whole bunch of them and then say by February 14th, they're all gone. Uh, it's something where you actually put it in your mind where no matter what, this is happening. No matter what it takes, you will do this. And it takes a while to get into that frame of mind. It really does. It takes a while to decide. But once you do, everything flows so much easier in that direction. So when is your time to decide? I think it's now. Tip number two. Look at where you are now and where you want to go. This way you can see the whole journey, you can see everything that you need to change or everything that you need to do in order to get to your goal. Don't worry, don't get too overwhelmed, just take one step at a time, but at least if you know where you're going and what you need to do, you can make a game plan as to exactly how to tackle each part of it and get to your end goal. Tip number three, make yourself and your goal a priority. I know it's super hard, you have so much on your plate, we all do, but if you don't put yourself on that list of things to do, when are you going to do it? Who's going to do it for you? Nobody. If you have a goal, you need to carve out a little bit of time each day to do something towards that goal. Something. It doesn't even have to be big. It could be something so small, but something towards what you need to work on. The more you fulfill yourself, the more you're going to be there for everybody else. Go get your goal. Tip number four, courage. In the words of the late great Gord Downey from The Tragically Hip, Courage, my word, it didn't come, it doesn't matter. And the thing is, is that courage doesn't always come to us when we need it. Sometimes we have to push through that scary part when we're trying to make a change that we know is the best thing for us and go through that period of awkwardness and craziness and know that at the end of it, we're gonna get to where we need to go. So push through, have that courage, even if it's not there, and go get what you want. Tip number five, commitment and consistency. So you need to commit to be consistent towards working towards your goals. Every step you take is going to get you one step closer. But if you just drop off after five or six steps, then you're taking several steps back, which is okay because you can still pick it up. But if you just continually make those steps forward, you're gonna feel this drive, this motivation to get you towards your goal because it's getting closer every time you take a step forward. It's almost like it's drawing it in because you are, you're that much closer because you took that many more steps. So all I have to say is keep going, be consistent, know what you want and keep going towards it. You'll get there. Tip number six, focus. So you want to make sure that you're reminding yourself of your goal. Have it around you so that you can see it, hear it, taste it if you need. I had pictures of myself at my goal weight when I was trying to lose weight um, when I was in high school. So I would put that around and I would always look at it and say, you know, like, what did I do then to be that weight? Um, in high school, it's a little easier than it is when you're a little older, I admit, but what was I doing then that's different than now? A lot of things. 
what are people who look like that doing differently than what I'm doing? A lot. So you need to kind of measure that up because it's not just about the focus to remind you of your goal, but you need to walk that path as well. And I feel like the more you focus on your goal, the more you will attract and do things to get there because it is something that's in you that is trying to come out, that is trying to be created and you can do it if you keep focusing on it. Tip number seven. So you want to make sure to set goals and take action. Nothing will change without this step. If you don't know what direction you want to go into or you don't have a goal that you want to attain, there's nothing to work for. There's nothing to go towards. And also, if you don't take action on things that you want, you're not going to go anywhere either. Things don't always just change on their own. Um, you usually need to work for it. So as long as you have a direction and you know where you want to go, break it down into smaller goals that are attainable and you can work on it every day. And you'll be surprised how fast you get to where you want to go. Tip number eight, set yourself up for success. So take some time out of your week whenever you have a few minutes and figure out what you need in order to reach your goals the next week. So just start small if it's something you want to eat healthier. So then make up a list of all the things that you want to eat throughout the week and when you go grocery shopping you can shop for those things and then you can prepare them so that when you have a crazy busy day and you don't have time to deal with all of it you're already ready you already figured it out you already set yourself up tip number nine adapt and evolve so if something is not working for you on the way to your goal pitch it get rid of it you don't need that in your life there are so many people who have gone on the same journey as you, going towards whatever specific goal you have. Look at what they're doing or what they've done. What worked for them? What didn't? Just remember, what works for one person is not necessarily going to work for another. You need to figure out what's going to work for you on the way to getting what you want. Tip number 10, develop good or better habits. So whenever I set a goal, I always look at the things that I'm doing currently to work towards that goal and the things that I'm doing that are taking me away from the goal. What I always find is that the balance is in me doing the things that are taking me away from my goal because let's face it, if I was doing all the right things right now, I'd have my goal already and I wouldn't be talking about this. Anyway, once I know what I'm doing to take me away from the goal, I look at how I can do, how I can shift them, how I can put them in the positive pile. So for example, the series is on weight loss. Some of the things that I would think about is, you know, like, should I have this extra drink? You know, it's more calories. I've already had a few. Maybe I'll just have a glass of water. Or, you know, like, do I really need that snack right now? Yes, I'm actually really hungry. But maybe chips aren't the best idea. Maybe I should just do some carrots with hummus. Okay, perfect. You know, so just try to change your habits so that they are a better choice or the good choice, the choice that takes you towards your goal. The more you do that, the more you balance towards your goal, the faster you're going to get there. Tip number 11, this is one of my favorites. Celebrate every victory. So along the way, every choice you make in the direction of your goal, celebrate it. Be proud of yourself because you're trying to change and change is hard, or at least it was for me. And you need to celebrate it. You need to be proud of yourself. You need to give yourself a pat on the back because, well, some other people may as well, but it's good when it comes from yourself too. And remember, if you don't make the right decision, forgive yourself. Just let it go so that you can continue on the journey to your goal. The longer you beat yourself up about something, the, the more bad choices you could potentially make and the further back you can go. Anyway, remember that two steps forward and one step back still gets you in the direction of your goal. Go get it. And last but not least, tip number 12, get help. So if you find that you've tried changing your mindset and you're still stuck and you have, you know, this negative mindset that just won't go away or keeps coming back, I know I've dealt with it all, believe me, um, I needed to get help. So some of the things that I looked into and that worked for me was emotional freedom therapy, um, seeing a therapist, 
uh, homeopathy, which I found was instrumental for me to lose weight, um, and also uh, bog flower remedies. Those are just to name a few, but those are some things that work for me. They might not work for you, and there are so many other things that you can look into. But I think the first thing that you need to recognize that if you need help, ask for it. Go find what works for you and it will move you forward. Sometimes you can't even get to a place where you feel like you can set goals until you move past this step. If you feel stuck, go get help. It's out there for you. So those are my 12 tips and tricks on how to change your mindset. I feel like each one of them are needed at some point along the way when you are trying to change your mindset. Um, some more than others, but either way, all of them are really important and got me to where I am now. And I hope they help you. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I love hearing from you guys. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you think this is going to help anybody, please pass it along. Anyway, I hope you have a health-filled day. See you in the next video.